The tense manhunt for a double homicide suspect in Lowellville is now over. Investigators say the man who killed two women last night is also dead. Police say he was found after a manhunt here in Parma, around the Cleveland area. Now, this afternoon, First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti just spoke with the Mahoning County Sheriff about this investigation. He's joining us live now with what he found out. Jerry, what can you tell us? Chelsea, this case last night involved cooperation from a number of different agencies, local and state, to resolve. Louisville police, as we told you last night, got the call around 6 o'clock to a home on Watson, finding two women had been shot, one of them dead at the scene, the other died a short time later at the hospital. Louisville then quickly called in the Ohio BCI to process that crime scene, as well as calling in detectives from the Mahoning County Homicide Task Force to interview the witnesses that they had and prepare arrest warrants for their ultimate suspect in this case, who's been identified as Jonathan Crago. Now, hours later, police in the Cleveland suburb of Parma became aware of Crago's driving through that area. They'd been alerted to be on a lookout for his vehicle. They gave brief chase, and as they tried stopping him, he reportedly, as we're told today, took his own life. Now, the victims of last night's homicide have not yet been identified by the Mahoning County coroner. That could happen a little later today. But coming up tonight at 5 and 6, we'll hear from the Mahoning County Sheriff who oversees that homicide task force to get more details on how this case and the timeline behind it all came into play. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKVN 27 First News at noon. Chelsea.